We're here today in Facebook HQ in Dublin with Coder Dojo for Hack for Help. And we're basically trying to make the help seeking service we have available on spunout.e more accessible on the platforms that fit with young people. You know, spunout.e are you a fantastic organisation and, and as are Coder Dojo and I think you know the, the importance of tech skills is, is a great thing to highlight here and we're really excited to partner with both of them. They're both fantastic organisations. Safety is obviously at the core of everything we do at, at Facebook and it's really important and we want to show our commitment to that. But also, you know, we're an engineering company and we think that through techni uh, technical solutions is the best way to, um, to find new and innovative ways to reach young people, you know, and, and Facebook is where young people are, it's where they're spending a lot of their time. So hopefully, you know, we want to see the way in which the platform can be used to, to help people access support services when they need it. So today we have uh, teams of developers and designers and uh, other clever minds from around Ireland coming together to work on apps to help uh, young people around mental health services using a newly developed API for Spun Out um, and developing all sorts of cool apps. Obviously what you're about is, you know, it's peer education, peer support, newer best people to invent the new ways of coordinating all that help that is out there. Because we do have a lot of services, we do have a lot of love that is available to young people. But getting that match between your express needs at a particular point and the right piece of help is absolutely critical. I think hackathons like this are, are really important. Bringing people together who have the expertise and have the ideas is great. And, and to be here at Facebook and have, you know, it's a fantastic inspirational place to come up with creative ideas. Um, and I hope more days like this happen and, and you know, maybe we'll bring one back to United Kingdom because it's certainly been exciting so far. One of the things that we clearly have to do is make sure that we do not lose young people to the distress that they feel and that we can reach out to them and make sure that they get the point of help uh, that helps them to, to cope with the challenges uh, young people's mental health is something that's very close to my heart, uh, both having seen it affect myself and also my friends growing up. Um, if I can help uh, other young people through technology and create a greater impact in uh, Spun Out's work with Facebook, uh, that's something I really want to do. What we wanted to get out of today was innovative technology and young people coming together to make sure that we improve the help seeking tools available on spunout.ie. You know, we're, we're not always the best people to think of these new solutions uh, and having another, another set of brains in, in the room to kind of think of these ideas is just a fantastic opportunity. So I'm just really looking forward to seeing what, you know, what comes out of it. When I got a mood tracker and it puts the app with your mood, you just put in a nickname and it could be anonymous or you can log into your Facebook and then you can log in without the mood. It's completely confidential. There's the two features of the app, which is the mood tracker, which goes from like sad to, 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 to happy. So it's based on your mood, like which you log in and it brings up articles. Involving your mood. <laughs> you can talk through site like, chat rooms and head rooms, and yeah, you can find services based on your location out of the services based on the country. There was a lot of great work done today, bringing together people from Coder Dojo and Facebook, people who had never worked together before, and the outcomes were really phenomenal. Um, we had so much great work done around Android applications, around the API for Spun Out, the searchability of the database. But overall, there was one winner, and the winner of a thousand euro Facebook advertising, and that was Team Mojo. And Team Mojo kind of brought together the essence of a lot of the other projects around mental health, reducing stigma, accessibility for young people. Mojo stands for My Online Journal, um, and it really focused on mapping our own feelings 
and when our feelings are low or our feelings need topping up or support, they would link in with the appropriate service delivery. So it's a design and an idea that we know will definitely work.